So welcome to my first video on how to photograph your kids. I thought I would just kind of lay out the basic concept here. I've been a full-time photographer since 2005. I'm mostly like a kid's family photographer, but I do lots of communication stuff for various international schools and humanitarian organizations around Asia. I think it's safe to say I've photographed thousands and thousands of kids in my career. And a couple of years ago, I started to think, how can I pass along some of my photography tips to parents? I did a little snooping around on the inner Google, and I was a little shocked to find nothing really out there just teaching parents how to take nice snaps of their kids. Everything seems geared towards making more professional kids photographers, so it's kind of like photography with a lot of Photoshop, post-processing, and marketing, of course. But I'm just going to go straight to the photography skills. It's not that complicated, and I just think that everybody with a kid and a camera should be a kids photographer. I mean, why not? So I've just started a Facebook group called How to Take Better Photos of Your Kids, where I'm going to be sharing a ton of info. My overall intention is just to eventually share everything I know about my admittedly simple style of kids photography. I'm prepared to put in tons of time giving feedback and generally demystifying the whole process. I have a pretty good Facebook following of over like 100,000 people, but I've got bored of that over the last few years. It's all, hey, look at my photos. But now I'd rather just check out other people's photos and help them to improve. I took the long route to becoming a full-time photographer, so you just get the advantage of learning from my mistakes. I'm just going to point you at all the stuff that you need to know right off the bat. So if you follow along for a few months, and you know, you got to practice obviously, but you can't not become a better kids photographer. My normal mode is just quick and fun. That's what I'm going for, and that's what I'm going to try and pass along in these various forums. I'm not Mr. Big all-around photographer guy, but I've just developed this straightforward system for photographing kids that I've talked to tons of parents over the years, and it works. It's about seeing. you got to see the light, you got to see the frame, and you got to see the moment. There's no props, there's no studio, there's no lights. We just pick a location and take it from there. I hear the same story from parents over and over. You know, we bought a nice camera years ago, but we never used it because the photos were too blurry or they were too bright or they're too dark. So that's where you got to start. You got to know the basics about your camera and about the settings. After some practice, it becomes second nature, just like skiing or riding a bike or driving a car or playing the piano. And there are a few things about photography that are counterintuitive, and you got to learn those right off the bat as well. I see parents out photographing their kids all the time and so often they're making these basic, basic errors that could be so easily fixed. And I know lots of people have done various photography lessons and workshops and afterwards they comment about just getting overwhelmed with all this technical gobbledygook. And all you really need to understand are these five numbers. It's kind of like the five magic numbers. And this is the only gobbledygook I'm thinking about when I'm shooting. And that's the... The focal length of the lens, the shutter speed, the aperture, the ISO, and the plus minus exposure. That's it. Once you understand those, you can just concentrate on the composition and waiting for those moments where you can capture your kid's personality. This is the point of the entire exercise. And don't focus on gear when you're just starting out. You need a camera and you need a lens. You know, the reason I started as a kids photographer is that I actually believed, and I still believe, the world needs better family photos. It's kind of a dying art. Plus, they really improve with age. Here's a few of my family photos from like 120, 130 years ago. Your iPhone photos just aren't going to be around in 2120. But if you get some good shots with some decent equipment, they probably will be. And one thing that always struck me about family photography is that you're making photos for a very small group of people who are going to cherish these photos for generations. They're going to become family heirlooms. These kids' grandkids are going to be seeing these photos. So I think about that kind of stuff a lot when I'm working. So what I'm saying is, start photographing your kids before they're one. Don't wait till they're like nine. Those first few years, especially up until around four, is really a magic time. Get up to speed with photography as soon as possible and you'll have great shots of your kids from day one. So get that camera out of the sock drawer, come over to my Facebook group and post some pictures and I'll help as much as I can and other people will as well. Please share this video on my group with your friends and check out the various links below. And remember the most important thing is you gotta just keep it fun and keep it light. But at the same time, you can never tell a kid to say cheese.